Hi, I'm Alana, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do your own dip powder nail polish at home. I am not a professional, and the video you're about to see is actually only my second attempt at doing this, but it's that easy. So, I'm going to walk you through the steps. There are lots of options for dip powder kits on Amazon. That's where I got mine from. And the reason I chose this particular set is because of the color options and it doesn't require a UV light to cure it. So you can see it just has three different polishes and they each serve a different purpose that you'll see soon. And then the dip powder base, which some sets don't come with, but I've heard that it's a key factor, as well as five different colors, black, red, this light pink, a really neutral, and the white. Here's everything that I need to do this. The dip base powder, and then I chose the neutral tone. It's called Kayla Lovey. My nails are clean, freshly trimmed, and I'm just going to rub them down with some alcohol to remove any excess oils. One final thing before I officially get started is to file the surface of my nails. Just lightly rough them up so that everything adheres better and dust off the excess. Two items to get started with will be this bottle in red, it's a dip base, and then the dip base powder. So first step is to apply the base polish and then quickly dip it into the powder. have an even light coat and then you're just going to grab a brush and lightly dust off any excess to clean off your nails. Next you're going to grab whatever color you choose. Like I said, I chose Kayla Lovey, something really neutral. And you'll see here, it's again, just a really light, loose powder. And you're gonna also grab the same bottle that you used for the base powder for your color. So again, really light, even coat. I 
personally prefer painting the base polish and then dipping before moving to the next nail because I find it's a lot easier to keep track of what step you are at in the process. After two coats of the dip powder and it does look a little rough around the edges but I'm gonna be able to even everything out in a couple minutes now I'm grabbing the activator and I'm gonna apply just a thin even coat covering each nail completely And then you're gonna let it dry for at least 30 seconds. You can see that with the two layers of the dip polish, it is a little bit thick on the nails and rough around the edges. So you're gonna grab a file and smooth everything out or a buffer just so that you can make it really smooth and it's gonna make your top coat look better when you get around to applying that. I used a black file, which is a little bit of an amateur move. You'll want to choose a file that is a more neutral tone. Now everything feels a lot more smooth and even on each nail. So I'm gonna dust it off one more time and move on to the last step. seen how easy it is. You'll just repeat the same steps on the other hand and when you're done your nails are gonna look fabulous. Take a look. This is me after just two times of doing my nails. You're probably never gonna have to pay someone else to do it again. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like Give me a follow because I'll be doing more videos and I would love to have you along for the ride. And dare I say, it looks pretty professional, right? <laughs>